This illustration conceptualizes the swirling clouds identified by the James Webb Space Telescope in the atmosphere of exoplanet VHS 1256b. The planet is about 40 light years away and orbits two stars that are locked in their own tight rotation. Welcome back to another video from the Cloud Boss. Today we will be looking at the latest images from the $10 billion space observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope, so get ready to feast your eyes on these spectacular images. Its clouds are constantly rising, mixing, and moving during its 22-hour day. Plus, they're filled with silicate dust. Some clouds contain silicate grains as tiny as smoke particles. Other contain slightly larger flecks that are similar to small grains of sand. Researchers detected both brighter and darker cloud patches, indicating some clouds are lower and hotter or higher and cooler than others, respectively. VH-1256 is about four times farther from its stars than Pluto is from our Sun. The planet completes a full orbit in about 10,000 years. Its cloud cover points to another fact. It's quite young in astronomical terms, only 150 million years have passed since it formed, and it will continue to change over billions of years. Over time, the planet will become colder, and its skies may transition from cloudy to clear. This illustration is based on observations from Webb. The camera that is part of Webb's near-infrared spectrographs integral field unit does not have the resolution to capture the planet in detail at this distance. The luminous hot star Wolfray 124, WR 124, is prominent at the center of the James Webb Space Telescope's composite image combining near-infrared and mid-infrared wavelengths of light. The star displays the characteristic diffraction spikes of Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, caused by the physical structure of the telescope itself. NearCam effectively balances the brightness of the star with the fainter gas and dust surrounding it, while Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, reveals the nebulous structure. Background stars and background galaxies populate the field of view and peek through the nebula of gas and dust that has been ejected from the aging massive star to span 10 light years across space. A history of the star's past episodes of mass can be read in the nebula's structure. Rather than smooth shells, the nebula is formed from random, asymmetric ejections. Bright clumps of gas and dust appear like tadpoles swimming toward the star, with tails streaming out behind them, blown back by the stellar wind. Detail of the globular cluster Messier 92, or M92, captured by Webb's NearChem instrument. This field of view covers the lower left quarter of the right half of the full image. Globular clusters are dense masses of tightly packed stars that all formed around the same time. In M92, there are about 300,000 stars packed into a ball about 100 light years across. The night sky of a planet in the middle of M92 would shine with thousands of stars that appear thousands of times brighter than those in our own sky. The image shows stars at different distances from the center, which helps astronomers understand the motion of stars in the cluster and the physics of that motion. This image taken by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope shows one of a total of 19 galaxies targeted for study by the physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies, PHANGS collaboration. Nearby barred spiral galaxy NGC 1433 takes on a completely new look when observed by Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI. NGC 1433's spiral arms are littered with evidence of extremely young stars releasing energy, and in some cases, blowing out the gas and dust of the interstellar medium. Areas that appear dark and dim in optical imaging light up under Webb's infrared eye. This is due to clumps of dust and gas in the interstellar medium absorbing the light from forming stars and emitting it back out in the infrared. Webb's image of NGC 1433 is a strong display of how dynamic processes associated with forming stars influence the larger structure of an entire galaxy. At the center of the galaxy, a tight, bright core featuring a unique double ring structure shines in exquisite detail with Webb's extreme resolution. 
In this case, that double ring is actually tightly wrapped spiral arms that wind into an oval shape along the galaxy's bar. NGC 1433 is a Seifert galaxy, which are typically relatively close to Earth and has a supermassive black hole at the center eating material at a high rate. The brightness and lack of dust in the Mirai image of NGC 1433 could hint at a recent collision with another galaxy. NGC 1433 lies over 46 million years away from Earth in the constellation Horologium. This illustration shows what the centaur Cheriklo and its rings could look like, based on our current understanding. Cheriklo is the largest of the known centaur population, located more than 2 billion miles away between the orbit of Saturn and Uranus. Cheriklo is only 160 miles across, 250 kilometers or about 1 slash 50th of Earth's diameter, and its rings orbit at a distance of about 250 miles, 400 kilometers from the center of the body. This illustration is based on previous observations of Chiriclo. Webb has not captured a direct image of Chiriclo, but has observed an occultation event in which Chiriclo's rings passed in front of a background star. This image by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, near CAM, features the central region of the Chameleon, a dark molecular cloud, which resides 630 light-years away. The cold, wispy cloud material, blue, center, is illuminated in the infrared by the glow of the young, outflowing protostar set 110 IRS4, orange, upper left. The light from numerous background stars, seen as orange dots behind the cloud, can be used to detect ices in the cloud, which absorb the starlight passing through them. An international team of astronomers has reported the discovery of diverse ices in the darkest regions of a cold molecular cloud measured to date by studying this region. This result allows astronomers to examine the simple icy molecules that will be incorporated into future exoplanets, while opening a new window on the origin of more complex molecules that are the first step in the creation of the building blocks of life. NGC 346, shown here in this image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope Near Infrared Camera, Near Cam, is a dynamic star cluster that lies within a nebula 200,000 light years away. Webb reveals the presence of many more building blocks than previously expected, not only for stars, but also planets in the form of clouds packed with dust and hydrogen. The plumes and arcs of gas in this image contains two types of hydrogen. The pink gas represents energized hydrogen, which is typically as hot as around 10,000 degrees Celsius, approximately 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, or more, while the more orange gas represents dense molecular hydrogen, which is much colder at around minus 200 degrees Celsius, approximately minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit, or less, and associated dust. The colder gas provides an excellent environment for stars to form, and as they do, they change the environment around them. The effect of this is seen in the various ridges throughout, which are created as the light of these young stars breaks down the dense clouds. The many pillars of glowing gas show the effects of this stellar erosion throughout the region. You have made it to the end of the video. Let us know your thoughts below on these images, and if you like our video please give us a thumbs up and of course, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. See you in the next video.